Hi everyone, I'm Pam. Welcome to my channel, Stitching in the Land of Good Enough. Today is Thursday, January 5th, I think. Could be wrong. Um, and this is my annual whip parade and finish parade and plans for the upcoming year. Chat. If you're finding me for the first time, I'm a little scatterbrained, I apologize. Um, I A little about myself in case, I, I know a lot of people find new channels when they're watching whip parades. So if you're a returning viewer, welcome back. I apologize that it's been like a month, over a month since we've chatted last. I'm gonna try to get better. If you're finding me for the first time, a little about myself. Um, I live in Rhode Island. I own a cross stitch store for a little over a year now in Massachusetts. Um, it's called Stitch New England. And I love backyard birds. I'm really into my bird feeders. Uh, Quick note, I'm filming at my shop this morning and the heat is loud here and it is about to kick on. And I need to have the heat because I'm in New England. Um, speaking of New England, we're having a retreat. I'm gonna say this right at the beginning of the video so I don't forget. We're having a retreat in October of this year, this 2023 Stitch New England retreat and registration is open. And I'm gonna have the information about that down in, in the description box. Okay. Did I say the name of my store with Stitch New England? I may have, or I may not have, scatterbrained. Okay, so I'm gonna show my finishes and my whips all mixed in together in order of start date. So that's how my brain works. And I'm gonna jump right in because I'm opening the store in a little under two hours and I need to have this done. <laughs> and I have other things to do before the shop opens up. Okay, so. I started 2022 with four whips that were from 2020. So these are my oldest whips. I got three of them finished. I got a little pat on the back. If I could read, I can't, my, my shoulder hurts. I can't actually reach my back. A little like pat pat. I, okay, anyway, moving on. So first project is a year at Hawk Run Hollow. So this is a year of Hawk Run Hollow by Carriage House Samplings. This one is the only one I did not get finished. So it is officially still my oldest whip. I'm going to try to remember the fabric that these are stitched on, but I don't keep track of that much anymore. So I may, I may remember, I may not. I'm pretty sure this is stitched on 40 count Legacy by Picture This Plus. So here is where it is at. So this was a new year, new start for 2020. And when I started it, the plan was that I was gonna finish a block a month <laughs> and have it finished in a year. So obviously that did not happen. I finished my sixth block this year. So my plan, I'm gonna get it up close so you can see the, the different blocks. We have January and February and March. I have June and May done, and then I have September done. Can you see September? Okay. I have a little bit of November done and a little bit of April done. So my plan for 2023 is to get three more blocks done on this. So if I get three blocks done this year and three blocks done next year, it will be done. And it will have taken me five years to finish what I thought was going to be done in one year. Silly me. These blocks, if you if you have not done a Hawk Run Hollow, there's quite a few patterns out there. Um, and this will not be my last. I, when I finish this, I think I'm gonna start Shores next, short, the Shores of Hawk Run Hollow. Um, each block is 92 by 92 stitch count, and they're like full stitching in there. Some of them are full coverage, or mine as well be full coverage. So, yeah. All right, now we're gonna do some finishes. So. In June of 2020, for my summer solstice start, I like to start things seasonally. I started Night Walk Down by the Blue Flower and I finished it this year in July. So, like two years, that's fine. She's so pretty. Ah, it's one of my favorite things I've ever stitched. I did not have time to iron, so I apologize if wrinkles bother you. So I can't believe this has not been framed. It's been sitting in my kitchen because I have one thing on the back. Where is it? You know, I'm not gonna be able to find it now. 
there oh right here i've got a situation on the back that needs me to use my tail tucker and fix that situation and that is the only thing it's been literally sitting on my kitchen counter for like five or six months waiting for me to do that so i can take it to the framer this week it's going to the framer this week so this is stitched on 32 count um vintage tarnished silver by lakeside linens okay this is a finished for now it is the berry bowl sampler that was a collaboration between heartstring samplery and the scarlet house i am stitching or i stitched the scarlet house side my mom is stitching the heartstring samplery side so i'm finished my mom is not when she finishes they're going to get sewn together and framed and originally they were going to hang in her house or it was going to hang in her house but i think she wants it to hang at the shop so that's nice of my mom it's being stitched my half is being stitched on 14 count picture this plus heartland and that's my finish there is stuff that goes in here but it's one over one and i'm waiting for my mom to finish her part before we decide what we're doing with that this was this was a fun stitch and I love that I'm doing it with my mom. My mom taught me to cross stitch back in the 90s, early 90s. And then I kept stitching and she kind of stopped. So she's getting back into it now that I've got the store and she has a good time hanging out here. And she's picked up stitching again. Okay, then lastly, my last whip that I started 2022 with from 2020 was Barbara Anna Designs Tree of Magic and I finished it this year. I finished it and framed it. So I'll get you up close. So this is a kit that you get. I think it's still a kit that you get from Nitka Moscow. I'm not sure how that's working because they're a Russian company. Um, this was one of my favorite things I've stitched ever. And when I framed it, I wanted it to have a lot of like empty space up here. Oh my God, I love it. So it hangs in my house most of the time. It doesn't hang at the shop because it's not a pattern I can sell. So I get to look at it at home. All right, so that is the end of all my projects that I started 2022 with that were 2020 starts. Is that confusing? So then I started 2022 with, oh, I gotta do some math, 14 things that I started in 2021. It was a little out of control. The first being the Celtic Tree of Life 3 by Artisy Cross Stitch. I'm stitching this for my husband. He picked out the pattern. He was gonna learn to cross stitch. He got like, I don't know, less than 100 stitches in, decided it wasn't for him, and then I inherited the project. It's being stitched on 14 count antique white Ada, and this is where we're at. It's probably not getting done this year. It might, we'll see, probably not. I'm currently working on this project at home right now. I just, no, it's fine. I thought I forgot a project and then I remembered that it's my new year, new start from this new year. So I don't need to show that in this parade. Okay, then I had another finish. This is Hoop There It Is by Heartstring Samplery. I started this in February of 2021. I finished it in May of this year. It's being stitched on 20 count, well, it was stitched on 20 count Antique White Ada with a silks for you i have a hank of silks for you that i won from mary x-ray x oh my gosh i forgot her floss tube that's terrible i'm a terrible person since i opened the store last november i watched all virtually no floss tube me I, I get maybe one in every two or three months there's just not time Anyway, this was a super fun stitch and there's others in the series, uh, Whip, Whip It Good and Whip It Good, 
poop, there it is. Oh my gosh, it's gonna make me nuts. Baby got backstitch. I plan on stitching them all. Time, when I have time. I gotta plan those starts into my life. Okay, the next one that I finished, I don't have with me because it was finished and framed and given to my son. It was the Pixels That Made Us by Pick Stitch. And I'm gonna link the video in the description box below where I show it finished and framed because it's stunning. And if you're interested, it, it spells gamer and each letter is made out of characters from different video game systems. And it was out of my normal wheelhouse and but it was fun to stitch and it's gorgeous. So I wanna be able to show it to you. I just was not crawling into his room in the dark this morning and trying to get it off the wall. And so that is what it is, but I'll link it so you can see it if you're interested. Okay, then in April of 2021, I started Holy mackerel. I've got like a needle in here that thinks it's a weapon. Hold on. The Raining Lorelei's by Forbidden Fiber Co. I am a huge Gilmore Girls fan. It's my favorite TV series. The heat stopped. I don't have to yell. And now, oh my God. This needle is out of control. I don't understand what's happening. It's, hold on, I have to perform. I don't have my glasses on. I'm not sure how this is gonna go. Whew. I don't know what was happening in that project bag. I think they were having like a dance party and the needle got out of control. Okay, so this is where I'm at. I have two of these like octagons Hold on. Two of these like octagons done. It's stitched. I don't know if you can see the shimmer. Probably not because it never shows up while on camera. It's being stitched on an opalescent fabric, which is the which is from Forbidden Fiber Co. I forget the name. It was a whole kit. So it's all Forbidden Fiber Co. floss, Forbidden Fiber Co. fabric, Forbidden Fiber Co. pattern. I can't wait to get to this this year. I know I said I'd sprinkle plans in kind of as I go, but I, I should just say it now because I'm going to keep thinking about it. Um, my plan in 2023 is to touch all of my projects in a rotation. So by oldest start date to newest, they'll just go in a rotation and I will stitch on them for at least one, one stitching time. I, I'll say a day, but it doesn't have to be a whole day. Any... So on a Monday, I'll start with, I'm doing an example, a year at Hawker and Hollow, and I'll stitch on it on that Monday. And then if I'm having a good time, I'll keep stitching on it until I'm bored. And then I'll pick up the next project in the rotation. So they have to be touched at least once before I move on to the next project, but there's no time limit. So I could stitch on them the whole year and never touch anything else if I wanted to. I mean, I can do whatever I want, it's my stitching, but that's the plan this year. All right, next up, I have another finish. It is Dreaming Frida by Barbara Anna Designs. And I started it in April of 2021 and I finished it in July of 2022. And it's being stitched on 20 count Ada from Be Stitch Me. And I think it's called Through the Stones. I could be wrong. Oh, she's so good. This was a, I love Barbara Anna. This was a super fun stitch. Look at that little sun, it's happy face. A little cat, I love her earring. This, this was a really fun stitch. I'm a little sad I haven't done anything with it yet. I'm gonna have to schedule in FFO time in 2023 too. I should make plans about that. All right, now we're coming to my first, it's actually the last thing I UFO'd, but the first UFO I'm gonna show. It's the only one I'm gonna show because I didn't dig out my other UFOs. 
A UFO is an unfinished object. It's ba I'm basically abandoning the project. It is arranging the KitchenAids. I have the picture, I have the front. I have no other part of the chart. I have some floss. I have my project, I have my whip. But my dog ate the pattern and it ate my the rest of my floss ring. And I just, I don't know. I'm UFOing it, I'm not throwing it away. I could decide to restart it years from now. And if I decide that, I'm not gonna start it over from scratch, but I'm officially UFOing the project. I just, I don't wanna, I don't wanna buy the pattern again. I don't wanna, I don't know. I just got discouraged. So it's not getting touched in 2022. We're gonna call it a UFO for 2020. I don't know what year I'm in. We're gonna call it a UFO for 2023. I may start it again so in the future, somewhere down the line, but not this year. All right, then I had another finish. And this is Land That I Love. And it's a pattern that was gifted to me from my friend, um, Stephanie Weitzman. Stephanie Campbell Weitzman. I think I said your name right, Stephanie. And I've already passed along the chart. And it's being stitched on tw another 20 count Ada by Be Stitch Me. And I have no idea what the color is. And it was a cute little finish. I started it, when did I start it? In May of 2021. And I finished, I had a lot of July finishes this year, I think. Well, two, anyway. There it is. So it was super cute. So that was fun. All right, again, need to get that FFO'd. All right, what is up next? Ooh, this is not a finish. This is the Nantucket Girls Sampler by Plum Street, Plum Street Sampler. It's the Nantucket Girls Sampler by Plum Street. I apologize for the glare, but these packages are a pain in the butt, so I'm not gonna take it out of the package, but I will read the words to you. It says, then I'll haste to wed a sailor and send him off to sea, for life of independence is the pleasant life for me. But every now and then I shall like to see his face, for it always seems to me to beam with manly grace. I'm not sure what manly grace is, but she seems excited about it. Um, with his brow so nobly open and his dark and kindly eye. Oh, my heart beats fondly towards him whenever he is nigh. But when he says, goodbye, my love, I'm off across the sea. First I'll cry for his departure, then laugh because I'm free. And it says it's the Nantucket Girls Song, 1821. It is not a reproduction sampler. And I have ancestors that were sailors from Nantucket. So I'm, I may do a little, at some point, I'm not far into this. At some point, I may do some like customizing to include my ancestor Zimri Robinson and his, I might make this like his wife's sampler. His name was Zimri and I think that's really fun. Okay, anyway, I am stitching this on a 40 count linen. It's by Seraphim and I think it's called Thesby. I could be wrong though. So that's where I'm at. It's gonna, I need this whole fat quarter for it. And that's all I have done. So I have a ways to go. I have decided that my eyes are not what they used to be and 40 count is not my friend. So I, I'm i hoping to get a lot of work done at my 40 counts this year in case my eyesight gets worse. I don't wanna have like 40 counts I'm not working on. And then I'm never starting anything on 40 count ever again. I know people love it. 36 is my favorite. 40 count is a little bit too much of a strain for me these days. Okay, next up. Next up is Autumn by the Cross-Eyed Cricket. And it's gonna look like this when it's done. No. Well, I mean, it would look like that if I was hanging it upside down, but I'm not. I mean, who knows for sure, but as of right now, I'm not hanging it upside down when it's finished. So that's Autumn by the Cross-Eyed Cricket. And here is where it's at. I have no idea 
what I'm stitching, what fabric this is. I do know that it's 32 count though. I'm pretty sure it's a seraphim. And that's where I'm at. I have two letters done, working on a third. I love that moon. My favorite part about this pattern is that little pumpkin. I can't. I think there's some backstitch that goes on that pumpkin that I haven't done yet because I always save backstitch for the end. So good. So good. I forgot how much I like this. Love the fabric. I, w I wonder if I wrote down what the fabric is because it's kind of stunning. Mm -hmm. I did. It's actually not a seraphim. It's Lakeside Linens and it's called Meadow Rue. And it is a 32 count and it is gorgeous. But I know Lakeside Linens is kind of hard to find. So I apologize if that was a tease. Trying to be neat and tidy about this. If you have ever done a whip parade, you know that it is like a hot mess when you're finished. And I have to open a store. So I'm trying to be neat, which is making, I think, the filming take a little longer and probably also my rambling. But... This is me, it is what it is. Okay, next up, there's no reason this shouldn't be done except I'm lazy. So this is Goth Moth by Satsuma Street. It's a ornament kit. Oh, I can't get the picture out. Okay, I don't need to get the picture out. That is what it's gonna look like when it's done. Here's where I'm at. Like I have all the regular cross stitch done. I just have that back stitch left and the beads and sequins. Like this is one evening of work and then I'm done. So this will be a finish in 2023. I think I said that last year. I don't know what my holdup is. I hang up, I don't know. Okay. Next up is Feed the Birds by the Needle Love Company. This is out of print, but it's I'm pretty sure it's fairly easy to find on eBay and not expensive, or at least it wasn't the last time I checked. So I it comes with two patterns, Bird Watcher and Feed the Birds. This was gifted to me, and you know now, and I apologize to who gave it to me, but my brain is like a sieve, and the synapses fire whenever they want to. So like four hours from now, I'll remember. But right now, it's gone. So Feed the Birds, Need a Love Company. Someone gifted me the chart. Someone very lovely. And um, because I love birds and I like to feed my birds. I believe I'm stitching this on 32 Count Gray by Weeks Dye Works. And I am close to being done. All the words are done. All I have left is to put in some birds and then it's finished. Look at, look at how cute. So right now I've got a cardinal done and a goldfinch and a chickadee and the two feeders. I've got a woodpecker hole going on right there. Um, it's taking me a little bit longer because I'm adding in some extra birds because I'm not doing the second chart. I wanted to put the birds that were on the second chart that were not included on the feed the birds chart on this one too. I want all the birds on here. So this will get done this year too. I don't know if you care, but I keep forgetting to say when I started things. I started that in September. It was my fall start for 2021. Okay, now I've got a couple of UFOs. Um, I have decided I don't like mystery kits. <laughs> I, I don't know, I, time, it's too, time is too short to stitch on things that I don't absolutely love. And I had gotten a few kits um, from, from Forbidden Fiber Co. And the floss was beautiful and the fabric was beautiful and the patterns were lovely, but they weren't like me patterns. So I've, I've gifted them places um, so and UFO'd them. So the first one was Haunted House by Forbidden Fiber Co. So I UFO'd that one. The second UFO, I had started Princess Eliana by Mirabilia. 
And I UFO'd that because I hated the fabric I was working on. It was an opalescent, it was straining my eyes. I was not having a good time. I may start it again in the future, but I, as of right now, not working on it. Um, Cause it'll need a whole new start on different fabric. So then that brings us to Sir Thomas by Glendon Place. This was my birthday start for 2021. I am a turkey baby. I was born on Thanksgiving. So I, it was, I thought it was cute to start a turkey for my birthday. This picture does not do this justice because it is full. The actual whip is full of sparkly fabric and it's gonna have beads before I'm done. I am stitching it on 28 count antique white linen by Swigart. And here is where it is at. So I've, I've got a little corn border going. I've got a lot of turkey happening. And I don't know if you're able to see, can you see the sparkle? There is so much sparkle. Like there's sparkly browns and oranges and oh my gosh, love it. And this is like comfort stitching because it's just blocks of color. There's no confetti just big blocks of color and because I'm stitching it on 28 count like it's for me it's nice and easy I don't know how the heck I have this fabric folded okay then the last thing I started in 2021 was the Christmas Bells sampler by Heartstring Samplery I will read the words to you. It says, I heard the bells on Christmas day, their old familiar carols play. Wild and sweet, the words repeat, peace on earth, goodwill to men. I am gonna rechart it to say goodwill to all. I, I like the, I actually think that sounds better. Um, I am stitching this on 36 count. I think it's 36 count, because I'm using one strand. I'll be honest, I don't have my reading glasses on and I can't tell if this is one, it's one strand. So this is 36 count, dirty teacup by needle and flax. And here's where I'm at. Got a lot of border in, I've started some words. This may or may not get done in 2023, we shall see. I'm, I'm, I'm maybe a quarter done, not even a whole quarter done. Probably not getting done this year. All right, let me pop it back in the bag because that's an easy one. Okay, next pile. All right, let me push these away. From here on out, everything I show will be something I started in 2022 starting with my new year new start for 2022 was what is this called I think it's called winter day it's a realist kit Did you see the birds super cute super cute I it was a kit a realist kit so I'm stitching it on the 14 count Ada that it came with and here is where it's at. I am a good quarter of the way done with this. It's fun to stitch. I was working on it late at the end of 2022. Oh my gosh, so pretty, so pretty. Then, I can't wait to show this. So every year, this is the third one I've done. I don't want to say like every year since like 1994, but like for the past three years, I have done a daily temperature stitch along. So in 2022, I did the Temperature Library 2 by Christie's Corner and it's done. I put the last stitches in on the 31st. Da, 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 da. It's so good. I stitched it on, I believe it's 16 count antique white Ada. I'm 
I'm gonna show you. We had January and February and March and April and June until, no, I skipped a month somewhere. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. And I love this little snow globe. I gave him some sparkles. I love, I feel like I'm channeling my inner naturalist, like my inner like throw and keeping track of the temps. I, I don't, I don't know. Okay. Next up, <coughs> excuse me, sorry, was Next Door by Heartstring Samplery. And it says, I wish you lived next door. And I can't find it. I don't know where it is. I finished it. I started it in January and I finished it in February. It was some, I, I always have a project I'm stitching at the shop because we have Wednesday night stitch groups. And uh, sometimes I can stitch with the Saturday folks depending on how busy it is at the store. Um, and I didn't stitch it, I stitched it with the called four colors, but I stitched it on a bright yellow fabric and I wish I had it to show you, but I can't find it. I'm thinking it's somewhere in the store because I couldn't find it at home. I'm a ding dong. Okay, next up, my next shop project was Big Hearted Tiny Town by Heart and Hand. And I started it in February and I finished it in April and I stitched it on 32 count, it might be 28 count, I'm honestly not sure, I don't remember. Uh, Dirty Teacup by, might be 90s Nirvana. It's a needle and flax. But, and I finished it, super cute. I had every intention of getting this like fully finished back in April and here it is in January, 2023 and it's still not fully finished but it was really a fun stitch. Love the colors. The fabric was perfect. In my normal, if you're finding me for the first time, in my normal like weekly update videos, I don't usually talk about what fabric I stitch something on. I'll tell you the count. I might say I'm stitching it one over one or one over two or I don't know, two over two but I don't normally share the fabric because I know fabric is not always easy to get for everyone. And I don't, I like to encourage people to find the fabric that works for you that you can get your hands on because there's no such thing as one fabric for one chart. Any chart can be stitched on any number of fabrics. But in my whip parade, if I can remember the fabric, I will, obviously I'll tell you what it is because I've been doing it this whole time. Anyway, my spring start this year, well, I. My spring start in 2022. Oh, we're not there. I have another UFO. Um, I did also start when Bridgerton season two came out. I started the Bridgerton mystery kit from Forbidden Fiber Co. And I decided that it was not for me. I didn't want to stitch a sampler with a big house. So I UFO'd it. Um, that's okay. And then after that, I started Peacock, Unicorn, and a Badger by the Scarlet Letter on in March. And this is what it's going to look like. It's big full coverage, but it's motif full coverage. It's not like a haid where I uh, have an earth where it's all like confetti, but it will be full coverage because I am stitching the background. It's called for to stitch the background, but some people, some people who have done this stitch it on a dark green fabric so they don't have to stitch the background, but I will be stitching the background. Um, I am stitching it on 40 count linen. It's summer khaki by Swigart, but it's not going to matter what the fabric is because it's full coverage. Can you, can we talk about that sun? Oh my gosh. I need to get back to this. So I went along the top and then I'm going to come down. You can, I don't know if you can see, the sun is charted, his face is a little different in the chart and I I did a little change. I left that apart and I thought he looks cuter. So I can't wait till this one comes up in the rotation. I put that in wrong, it's fine. We'll figure that out later. Okay, then the next shop project I was working on was Red She Said 
by Hands On Design, and it's part of their um, their banner ser ba banner series. When you live in New England, sometimes R's can be tricky. I try not to. I try to say my R's. I sometimes I have to think about it. But when, like, I want to say like banner year, but it's not a banner year. It's a banner year, and it's hard to put those R's together in a string like that. Okay. Anyway. I stitched it on, it was a finish. I stitched it on Fiber on a Whim Cream and Sugar, and it's 16 count, it's a 16 count Ada, it might be an 18 count, but I used two strands, not one strand. Okay, anyway. So I have the three parts of the banner done I just have to put it together and I am not a good UFOer, so I don't know. I think I'll have to watch a video and then I need to just get it done so it can hang in the shop. I did all of these little like smalls as shop projects and I was totally, last year, and I was totally planning on like FFOing them and having them be shop models, but I hate FFOing. Um, it, you're, it's stitched with the color and cotton thread pack. So it's all the called for color and cotton. Which was my first time stitching with color and cotton. And it was quite delightful, I must say. It's really a nice feeling floss. Okay. Then I started June Bug by Nora Corbett in April. This is what she's gonna look like when she's done. I'm trying to look at the time. We're good, we're good. I think this will be under an hour. And I'm stitching it on uh, 32 count cedar plank by Lakeside Linens. And here I'm where I'm at. This is gonna get done this year. I touch this once a month because I host a Fancy Folk Zoom. Um, so if you're stitching a Fancy Folk, and you're interested in joining the Zoom, um, we do it the fourth Thursday of every month, shoot me an email. So I think we've got a few spots available still. I also host a Hawk Run Hollow Zoom, if you are stitching any of the Hawk Run Hollow patterns, and that's the second Thursday of every month. Okay. And then there's this gal. So I'm hosting a stitch along that I'm terribly bad at because I'm behind. We started at May 1st. Tisket it's a hashtag Tisket Tasket Basket Sal. And it's a Tisket a Tasket by Rosewood Manor. I'm stitching it on 32 count flannel flower by Fox and Rabbit. And here is where it's at. I have not touched this since like September or October. I am months behind. People are finishing theirs and they're gorgeous. And I'm like still stuck way back here. So I'm thinking, I I, I was thinking I was gonna do a Tisk to Task at Tuesday all year to get it done. But I don't think I'm gonna do that. I'll just stitch on it when it comes up in the rotation. And I'm not gonna feel guilty. Stitching should be fun. There should never be guilt involved. I have to tell myself that because you can, can you see the guilt in my eyes? Okay. Then a few friends and I, we're gonna do a round robin this year, but that sort of fizzled. But I don't mind because I love the project and now I'm just gonna put it into my regular rotation. It's Sarah Spencer by heart and hand. Sarah Spencer, circa 1870. That is what it's um, charted to look like. I did a different fabric altogether. What is this fabric? I'm honestly not sure. I have no idea what I'm stitching it on. Oh, yes I do. 
It's um, Braying Donkey by Seraphim, which was an exclusive fabric that you had the opportunity to order if you went to the Stitching at the Farm retreat um, in 2021. So I don't know that this is readily available anywhere, but it's a gorgeous color. And I did an MPI silk conversion because I don't, I don't carry the, um, I forget what, I forget what it's called for. Soit d'Alger or Verisois or something like that. Um, so I did an MPI conversion and the colors are so happy and fun. I love this like little batch of colors. So this is going into my rotation. I'm not normally a reproduction sampler stitcher. I think this is actually the only one I've got going. Okay, we are almost done. Then on July, on the 4th of July, I started the Equality Sampler by Plum Street Samplers. And it says, Declaration of Sentiments, we hold these truths to be self-evident that all men and women are created equal. And it's basically, it's celebrating the, um, oh crap, sorry. Seneca, Seneca Falls Convention. Um, and I'm not sure if I'm gonna do some recharting. I Back in July when I started it, I talked about recharting it to be not the Declaration of Sentiments, but the Equal Rights Amendment, and then swapping out these words um, to have the Equal Rights Amendment in there. I'm not sure, it all, it all depends on how ambitious I'm feeling when I get to that part. Um, I am stitching it on just a regular Swigart. It's, I believe that I'm stitching it on 40 count. I think it's just light mocha. And I had a stunning start on the 4th of July. And I have not stitched it since. <laughs> so normally when I start something, I stitch on it. I get a chunk done. I did not this time. That's okay. I think because I was still like really focusing, um, in 2022, I tried to work on two focus projects a month and I tried to have planned starts. This was an unplanned start. And I think I felt guilty about putting a lot of time into it instead of working on the projects I was supposed to be focusing on in July. All right, then I started Hector's Stocking by Shepherd's Bush in August. And this is my first time doing one of these Shepherd's Bush stockings and I love it. This will not be my last. So that's what it's gonna look like when it's done. Hector's stocking. It's being stitched on 20 count linen with pearl cotton, one strand over two. Piece of fabric is enormous. And so here is where I am at. I have that little top border done. Oh my gosh, it's hard to wrangle this fabric. I have that little top border done. I think Santa's done, I can't remember. I think I'm still working on Santa's pants. That's where I'm at. I've got a few snowflakes in there. I feel like I'm almost done. And then I look at the chart and I realize I still have like so much left to do. But because Santa was so big, it makes me feel like he's done. Also, can we talk about those little houses on his jacket? Like super cute, super cute. Love that. So this will not be my last time, my last stocking. And I kind of think I'm making, I'm making this one I think for me or my husband, and then I'll make another one for me or my husband. It just depends on which one I decide to give to who. Before everybody does their kids and grandkids and whatever, I don't have a stocking. My husband doesn't have a stocking. So I'm gonna make us stockings. My kids have sto knit stockings that were made by my husband's grandmother. And my husband and I don't have stockings. And I don't have grandkids yet, so I don't have to feel guilty about not stitching for grandkids. I may never have grandkids. So my husband and I are taking first priority. All right, then I had a shop project start and finish. It is Stitcher by Luminous Fiber Arts, and I started it in August. From here on out, I was super bad 
about keeping track of when I started and finished things. So I have, no, this is the last one. I know I started it in August and I'm not sure when I, when I finished it. And then I have projects that I even forgot to put down on here. That December was like a mess. I started things that I had no plan on starting and I didn't write them down and yeah. So my whip list that I have already written down for 2023 has everything neat and organized and everything is on there. But 2022's, is it, this is in case you, wow, we're going on a side tangent. In case you're wondering, this is what my whip list looks like. I list the project and the designer and when I started it and when I finished it or UFO'd it. Um, and any special notes, like was it a new year, new star? Was it a birthday star, retreat star? Like that sort of thing. Anyway, Stitcher by Luminous Fire. How cute is this? I stitched it on a 32 count linen and I have no idea who it's by or what the color is, but it's fantastic. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. I love the buttons. I love that I put the buttons on with the red thread. I don't know, I, I feel like it kind of makes them pop. I love it. That was a really fun stitch. So that was Stitcher by Luminous Fiber Arts. And then I had another Luminous Fiber Arts. I really like uh, Misty Purcell's patterns. So this I know is Antique White Ada. I did a lot on Antique White in the past year. I believe that it's 32 count, but it could be 28. I have a hard time telling the difference sometimes. And it's Hocus Pocus by Luminous Fiber Arts. I did change the color. Uh, this was the called for color of like the moon and the pumpkin and the stars was a little more brown and I wanted it to pop be a little brighter. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. I love the eyes. I love the eyes. So that was a start and finish this year. Here comes the heat. I apologize. All right, and then my, I think this was my fall start, which would make sense because it's Fall on the Farm by Little House Needleworks. I can show you two patterns. It's a nine part series that came out in 2022 and I don't know what fabric I'm stitching this on, but I have one block done. I started the second block. I love the colors. The color palette is just beautiful. And there, I'm gonna get this. Like, there's just a bunch of like little details. They're really, this This is fun to stitch. I, can't, I don't know why I don't know what this fabric is. I don't think it's not brain donkey. I don't know. Scooch that in there. Okay. Ooh, somebody has jumped ahead. Then I had another start and finish at the shop. This is um, December 25th by Heart and Hand, and it was this year's circle, circle in the round. It might have been the pattern. I thought it was really cute. <coughs> it's really dry in here. And this is just a piece of scrap fabric. It might be 32 count gray, gray weeks dye works. I'm not sure. Okay, there's just a few left. I went to fall on the farm the Fall on the Farm Retreat in 2022. And a bunch of us started Live on Little by Plum Street Samplers. And the words say, how great the blessing and vast the art to live on little with a thankful heart. And I didn't get a ton stitched on it. There's, I start, I center started and there is a lot of roof. I am stitching this on 36 count Dolly Madison by Needle and Flax. This is gonna be a big, a big gal. I don't know why my whips are gals. Because I'm gonna need the whole fat quarter on 36 count. And this is, this is where I'm at. Am I, I'm upside down. Pamela Jean, here we go. So I got some roof done, I got a seagull done. I got some of these little like 
Quakery quilty looking star doodads in. That's it. I can't wait to get to the house though. I love to stitch a house. And then I had some unplanned starts. This was an unplanned start. This is, oh no, this isn't an unplanned start. This is my birthday start. I didn't recognize the project bag. So this was my birthday start for 2022. I chose Bohemian Bliss by Carolyn Manning. And oh my gosh, this is an absolute blast. It's all DMC. I'm stitching it on um, 16 count Water Lily by Witchelt. And here is where I'm at. It's unbelievably fun because you're just stitching diamonds and triangles over and over again. And so like, I'll pick a color, like I started here with that color. And then I, I stitch all my length in wherever I can find it, if it's close by. And then I move on to the next color. Like I went down the row and every time I pulled a color, I stitched where I was easy to count to with that color. And then I moved on. So that's why it's a little like kind of spacey, sporadically stitched, but it's so good. Oh my gosh really, really fun. I think I will always want to have one of these Carolyn Mannings, these like geometric Carolyn Mannings going because it's pure comfort stitching and they're full coverage. So like I'm doing it on Ada. Nobody, you, I did choose a fabric I thought went well because I might frame it. So a little bit of fabric is showing, but uh, it's just delightful to stitch. Where am I at? Time. Okay, an hour till the store opens. I have one, three projects left. Three, that's it. Okay. So I did another shop project and it's Autumn Cottage by Plum Street Samplers. This has since moved from a shop project to an at home in my whip progression because I'll, ta I'll tell you why when we get to the last project. I don't know what I'm stitching this on. Oh, I do, I have the tag. It is 36 count espresso by R&R. And here is where, here's where we're at. I love a white house. So I got everything, everything on this side is done. There's another whole like one of these situations that happens over here. And I'm pretty close. I've got a lot of the house done. So this won't, this will get done this year. It will not, whenever this comes up in the rotation, I think it will get finished. This was, oh, there, shoot, there's another. Um, this was an unplanned start. This had been calling my name and I, I needed to start it. I, I couldn't stop thinking about it. It is The Lunar Witch by Autumn Lane. Autumn Lane Stitchery. And I've had this in my chart, like in my stash for some time. And all of a sudden, like I just needed to start it. So I am stitching it on 32 count flannel flower by Fox and Rabbit. And here is where it's at. Like I got a substantial unplanned start. And it's just really pretty. So That's it. So that was a pure unplanned start. And then this was a pure unplanned start. This was started, I don't know, some the week before Christmas, the week before the week before Christmas, somewhere in there. Where is the picture? It's Christmas time by Carriage House Samplings. I love him. I love I love him. And I'm stitching it on white clay by Fox and Rabbit on 36 count white clay. And I got a whole I got like white floss hanging out everywhere. And here's where I'm at. So I didn't get a huge start, 
So I think that's as wide as it's gonna be. And I got some Santa's beard going on and a snowflake. So pure unplanned start. I don't, I like couldn't control myself. All right, and then last project I started in 2022 is my new shop project. It's the only thing I'm going to be stitching at the shop this year, and I will not be stitching it at home. So I am going to be stitching the new Carriage House Samplings Nope. I don't know who comes up with names, but in my brain, Carriage House Samplings and Cottage Garden Samplings and, car and, and Country Cottage Needleworks are all the same. Like they're interchangeable. Cottage Garden Samplings, the new series, the Snowman Collector. There's 12 patterns. This is number one. He's called the Needle Worker. Can we even talk about the fact that he's got a star on his belly and it's made of buttons? She's a genius. I am stitching all 12 of them on one piece of fabric. If you go to Cottage Garden Sampling's website, there's um, a border, a free border that you can stitch if you're stitching them all together. And it's cute because there's a section on it that will, will say the snowman collector and then you'll have like 12 snowmen it's a cute idea. The second one is out. I'm going to have it in my shop today, tomorrow. Depends on when you're watching this. Um, and it's a clown. And when I first saw it, I was like, Ooh, it's a clown, but I have since named him. I don't have a picture. I wish I had a picture. He's growing on me. He's kind of cute. I've named him Pip Squeak. Pip Squeak the clown, the snowman clown. So I'm stitching the whole thing on light mocha, 20 count Ada. And when I tell you, I get to push my chair back. It's going to take up this entire piece of fabric. It's enormous. I know that if you stitch it on the called for a 36 count or an 18 count and you want a three inch margin, you need a half yard. The, I'm not entirely sure how, what the measurement of this is, but it's huge. This is what I have done. It, it's like fabric wrangling. This is what I, I have done. So I made some here. I've got the border that goes around. This is, this border does not come with the chart. So that's part of the free border. So, eh. So there's like no snowflake flake border around the actual chart. Um, and I feel like considering I only work on this in the store, I've gotten a fair amount done. It's being stitched one strand. It's so fun. So this will be, this will take all year, obviously. It'll probably take more than a year. Hopefully not much more than a year, but that's my new shop project. It's a big, it's a big one. That's it. An hour. Okay. I'm going to wrap this up really quick so we can stay at an hour. Um, thank you so much for joining me on my Finish Your Whip Parade. A little bit of plan sprinkled in. Um, I am hoping to get back to regular filming. So hopefully look for me next week, folks, hopefully. And in the meantime, um, I hope you have a happy new year and that you get lots of stitching time in and that you are all healthy and happy and safe. Bye everyone.